we're going to explore how much Social Security benefit you will get with an average lifetime earnings of $40,000 per year and you want to retire at age 62. So stay tuned for the full episode. Thank you for watching. This is Richard with Wisdom Investor. We're going to talk about how much Social Security benefit you would get if you've had an average lifetime earnings of $40,000 and you want to retire early at 62. Before we get into our full episode here, if you want to see more of our videos, you go to the bottom left of the video itself. You'll see where it says Wisdom Investor and you click on Wisdom Investor. This will take you to the home page and from here you'll be able to view additional videos. Okay, we're going to talk about how much Social Security benefit you'll get if you have a lifetime earnings of $40,000 per year. In 2021, you're going to retire. Let's talk about some basics here right now. Social Security is calculated on lifetime earnings, not your last year's paycheck. They're going to take your 35 best years of income and come up with your lifetime earnings. You need to have had 40 work credits, though, to qualify for Social Security in most cases. Each year, if you're working full-time, you can earn four credits per year, and it would take you about 10 years to get the four credits, 10 years of work minimum to qualify for Social Security. Social Security is going to look at your work history, your lifetime work history. They're going to take your best 35 years. Now here's an example where a person started out working. In their early years, they weren't earning much, maybe working during high school or college, and then they started to earn more. If you have some years where you do not work, those would count as zeros. As this person continued working, they started to make more money, had one year that was kind of bad in here. Now, in this particular situation, this all averages out to $40,000 lifetime earning. You can see some of the lower earnings were around $18,000, $19,000 per year. And then some of the better years were in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, but it all averaged out to $40,000 lifetime earnings. Okay, we're going to take a look at how we calculate this. In this case, the average lifetime earnings is 40000 You may be different. You'll have to look at your lifetime work history. You may be able to just estimate it. You know kind of what the minimum you've been making, what the maximum, and so kind of find an average there. But in this case, it's 40000 Everybody's going to be a little different depending on your work history. So once we get the average lifetime earnings, we're going to multiply that by 35 years, and that gives us a value of 1400000 lifetime earnings. We're going to take this 1400000 in step number three here and divide that by 420 months, the number of months in 35 years. This gives us your AIM. That's the averaged index monthly earnings, AIM, in this case, 3,333. Once we know our AIM number, average index monthly earnings, in this case, it was 3,333, we're going to use what they call bend points. The first 966 bend points is multiplied by 90%, 0.9. From 966 to 6,002, is multiplied by 32%. If your AIM number was over 6,002, then that calculation would be 15% times whatever number this is past 6,002. And then we're going to add those numbers up. Okay, here's how that works. Again, our AIM number is 3,333. We're going to take the first 966 out of this 3,333, multiply that by 0.9, gives us 869. Now we're going to take the 3,333, subtract 966. That gives us a remainder of 2,464. We're going to then take that 2,464 and multiply it by 0.32. That's the second level of bend points, 0.32. That gives us a value of 788. So just to review, the first 966 is multiplied by 0.9. Then the 2,464 was multiplied by 0.32. We didn't go over 6,002. Remember, our number here was 3,333. If yours comes out to 7,000, then you would have a third calculation. In this case, we don't have that. In this particular case, with our average lifetime earnings of $40,000, our Social Security at age 62 is approximately $1,600. And $57. Again, that's an approximate amount because we don't know all of the exact numbers here. 
Now keep in mind, if you take Social Security 62, it's going to be about 30% less than if you waited until your full retirement age. In this case, at full retirement age, it would be approximately $2,200 if you waited an extra four years or so. Each person's full retirement age is going to be different based on your birthday. So if your lifetime average earnings is about $40,000 per year, your early retirement Social Security at age 62 would be right around $1,650. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Stay tuned for more updates.